So people were wondering about that Spider Coast stove pipe. And well, here's one in person. Got that. Not a screwdriver. That's how you can open it. The old school way of opening it if you didn't have that spider hole right there. You can two hand open it. Grab right there with your left hand. Of course, I'm holding the camera with my left hand, so I'm not going to demonstrate that at this time. Just getting a decent look at it. I'm trying to get some okay lighting here. Standing in the Spider Co booth at Shot Show as I spin around trying to get the right light, changing the lighting. People saying, well, that knife is a lot of money and well, it is, because you're getting a lot of knife. Full titanium knife at a Tai Chung. I was saying none of them right now, or none of them have ever been cheap. Full titanium knives at a Tai Chung, or full titanium knives in general. Any well-built one. But you can see on this Spyderco stovepipe, you're getting a little more. That's a pretty fancy pivot. Especially for, I don't know, spider coat. Some custom makers do fancy pivot every single time. But it's pretty nice. Here in person, hopefully you can see that on the camera. You see also that pivot there as I come across. I believe it works as a lock stop. I unlock that it's gonna stop right there at the pivot you can't go too far and screw up your lock so to speak another great thing about this knife that pocket clip look at that it's something special from any company but I say especially from spider co because a lot of times yeah they do have that titanium knife and they have maybe a wire clip on there which some people wanted. I mean, last time where people, well, oh, it was way back, I think. They were saying they didn't want the hourglass clip, they wanted the wire clip. So either way, uh, wire clip, hourglass clip, all common plain clips to where this one is not only titanium, not only spider coat, not only unique, not only well done, I mean, all those things. The way that angle is on the back of this clip is pretty cool. Showed the clip a lot, but I'm still kind of starstruck by it here. I mean, first, yeah, the second time holding it, but the first time really playing with it for an extended period of time. Of course, you can see the stone wash out of Tai Chung. And the stone wash there on the blade. It's Tai Chung. Anybody that knows Spider Coast from Tai Chung, um, near perfect, or you could say perfect, yeah. We'll just say near perfect. You check out also that maker's mark right there. Pretty cool maker's mark. Does it say the blade steel on there? 20 CV. So, I think they described it pretty well. Spider Co has pretty good advertising now. Well, they always have, but even better now with their pictures and advertising. And anyway, saying in Reveal 9, they uh, show the stovepipe really well. Actually, I don't know I'm going to grab one of those Reveal 9s and just bring it out, show it right now. Here's that reveal nine. The Thanks, Ben. Stove pipe. Yeah. Bill the Butcher. From that yeah. movie, if anybody's seen that movie, it's that old style little pocket cleaver. There's the advertising from Spider Coat for it. Great advertising. And, uh, well, well, some said it's just a lot of hype. Um, after handling it here, in person, 
I don't think it's just a lot of hype. It's a lot of knife is what it is. That's why it's a lot of money. So people are like, wow, that's a lot of money. The year it is. It's a lot of knife. I mean, look at that thing. Well centered. Well stonewashed. It's smooth. No, it's not on bearings. It's not a, a so-called speed knife. There's no flipper or anything. Uh, yeah, you can spidey flick it. You can spidey flick it. Uh, any spider go on washers. But yeah, it is on washers. Not bearings. Will it drop close? Probably. I mean, this thing's brand new. It's going to hit your thumb. The frame lock. It's not a compression lock. So it's going to drop to there. Hit your thumbnail. Thank God for thumbnails. Close it down. It's a lot of knife. That's why it's a lot of price. And, well, I mentioned that so many times, but that's the most common that I've seen. Let's see one more time just how it looks in hand right there. Kind of a couple of different grips. Your finger seems to fall in right here really well. And then as well as choking up real close, probably the normal grip, super close to the blade. That thick spine feels awesome with your thumb. I personally love the hammer grip, and that's kind of like, I guess, a hammer grip. Probably other names for it, but I've seen it called the hammer grip, so um, I don't normally hold my knife like this. I do like to put my thumb down the spine. And if you like the hammer grip, or the thumb down the spine grip, or 20 CV, or fancy knives, or stonewash knives, or titanium knives, spiderco knives, you're gonna get what you paid for. You're gonna be happy. I think you'll be happy you got one. And yeah, that is the old school way without the spider hole of reaching across and opening the blade. If it came straight down, there's just a lot less blade to uh, grab there. And sure, yeah, it, it adds some extra weight for um, possible cutting and cleaving and so forth, as well as making really great uh, purchase on the end of the knife to where you can get a lot of force on the knife. Of course, I haven't cut with it. I did drop it, though. <laughs> Thank you, Spider Co., for showing me this stovepipe. Hope you enjoy Look at it. See you next time.